Hello everyone, Chief Kanak here with some exciting Halo 6 news. Community, we've done it. Split Screen will be returning, and possibly Black Under Suits. Today, during the DICE Summit in Las Vegas, Bonnie Ross took to the stage to talk about world building. During her presentation, she talked about some lessons, including some painful ones, that 3 for 3 have learned since taking the helm of the Halo franchise. The first painful lesson was the unfortunate disaster that was Halo the Master Chief Collection. Bonnie Ross said back in 2015 to Game Informer that because of that, we would never see a Halo game released without a beta. That is one of the major things they've learned from the Master Chief Collection. The second painful lesson mentioned in this presentation was the removal of split-screen support for Halo 5. She said it was, quote, incredibly painful for the community and for us. I think it erodes trust with the community. A lot of learning from that, and I would say for any FPS going forward, we will always have split screen. So there you have it, straight from Bonnie Ross herself, split screen will return with Halo 6 and continue onwards with future Halo FPS titles. This is great news to hear, I know this is one of the major negatives that a lot of people held against Halo 5. To briefly put, the reason why they didn't include the feature was because they wanted to maintain their self-imposed 60 frames per second requirement across the board for Halo 5 and they said they had data showing split-screen numbers were really small. I'm brutally paraphrasing the reasoning, but that's the easiest way to put it in a few seconds without going into every single factor, and trust me, there are many other reasons and many other factors we can go on forever. So what will this mean moving forward? Well, with Xbox establishing an ecosystem so that all games will work on Xbox One, Xbox One S, and Project Scorpio, that means something will likely have to happen to support split-screen moving forward if it's going to work on all three of those hardware systems. That's if we were to base its absence in Halo 5 on the items I mentioned previously. So perhaps split screen will only be for campaign, maybe they'll drop campaign down to 30 frames per second, or perhaps they've learned to better utilize the Xbox One hardware now after some more time with it. We don't exactly know what they'll have to do to accommodate the feature, they may have to cut some things, they may not, we don't know. Only time will tell, but obviously this is still relatively early in Halo 6's development cycle. But it is indeed a promise. Moving on, in today's community update, Sketch made note of Bonnie Ross's statements, and also added that along with him previously ensuring that black undersuits are being accounted for, this should make a lot of longtime fans very happy. So it looks like the community has finally done it. Black undersuits will return. Sketch has been very transparent and hinted at them since his return to Halo. He first talked about Ark Outcries in his Welcome Back Q&A, but he did not confirm or deny the return. Then two months ago on Reddit he said, Keep this on the download, but for what it's worth, I've specifically seen with my own eyes documentation stating that in future hypothetical unannounced projects, true black undersuits are accounted for. So with that statement on Reddit, he's still relatively playful with his wording, but it's very promising. But today he wrote that he had previously ensured that black undersuits are accounted for, which kind of gives the impression that he's talking about his post on Reddit from two months ago. So you almost can't get any clearer or better than that other than showing us what black undersuits look like in Halo 6, which they won't do, it's still very early in development. So we've done a community, that's two victories for all of us, pat yourselves on the back. I have to say Halo 6 has the potential and is looking to be a huge title moving forward. With it building upon Halo 5, Forge from the get-go, split screen returning, black undersuits, and 4K native resolution on Project Scorpio, which was mentioned a little while ago by Phil Spencer and Shannon Loftus, Microsoft Studios GM. It's all of these things so far that have got me excited for this year's E3, as I'm hoping we'll get a teaser for Halo 6, as it's not expected to release until late 2018, due to Halo first-person shooter titles having about a three-year gap. And that's it for the news today. Hit that like button if you're excited for split screen and black undersuits, or if you just like the video. As always, thank you for watching. My name's Chief Canuck, and I'm signing out.